Draw, partner. What is up, everybody? It is Brian with First Shot Tactical, back with another video for you here today. And today, it's difficult to see, but we're gonna get a close-up on this here, but we are talking EDC belts. So as you can see here, I have the Core Essentials EDC belt that is 1.5 inch with the X7 belt buckle, which is the smallest, slimmest option that they have, I'd say, on their website. And we're gonna be doing a quick unboxing of this, what it comes with, a couple other accessories that you might wanna pick up if you wanna get one of these belts. And then also, we're gonna talk about why this is probably the best EDC belt on the market right now as well. I've tried a couple other EDC belts. Um, I have here like a Groove Life uh, quick attach detach belt here as well. It's not a bad option, but we're gonna go over today why you can see right away why this is a way better belt than the Groove Life one, as well as some other offerings on the market. So let's go ahead and get this guy unboxed here. I'm gonna show you what it comes with, how to get it fitted correctly, cut it, add the belt buckle on, and get it set up for yourself to use. So with that, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, welcome over to the mat here. Let's go ahead and get this guy unboxed. It does come in just a nice compact box, as you can see here. And then we can get it opened here. And you can see nice packaging, core essentials, and then inside is all of our goodies. Um, we do get some uh, literature here as far as, you know, how to put it together for the belt setup, which I will be showing you here. And then also a gear guide for some other things, um, accessories, belt buckles, um, things you might need from them as well. Um, once we have the package open, you can see here is our actual belt coiled up here. I'm gonna set that aside for now. We also have some hardware, which we're gonna go over for mounting this uh, belt buckle to it. There's a little um, sleeve here to catch any extra that you have on your belt. And then as well, here is the belt buckle in here. And I'm gonna show you how to get this put on as well. Um, pretty cool, it's metal, solid. I thought it was plastic for some odd reason, so that's awesome to see. And then I also got some like other little side goodies here. This is a um, Core Essentials uh, belt hanger where you can put multiple belts on here. It's like three bucks, so not, not a bad idea to pick one up. And then also we have this here, which is a uh, sleeve that can go on the belt as well, which we're gonna go over here as well. So I went ahead and got everything out of the package here and everything looks good so far. So the first thing we wanna do is obviously we wanna get our belt buckle on, but to do so, we wanna make sure this is cut to the right size to fit us. So this will be different for everybody, but they make it very easy as far as figuring out where to cut this. So on the inside of the belt here, um, and this thing is super rigid by the way, I'm having trouble keeping it on or off camera here, but there is one side with the uh, kind of ratcheting system for adjusting it. We're gonna go ahead and throw that side aside. But then we have this side here. You can see where it's actually marked for the different pant size you might have. So you can see it says 28, 29, 30. Um, I'm a size 32, so this is my size. But it goes all the way up for this belt all the way to, I believe it's like 54, yeah, 53 or 54. So depending on your size, what they say is take your pant size, so I'm a size 32, and if you plan on um, in the waistband carrying with this, add six inches to it. So 32 plus six would be 38. And that's where I'm supposed to cut then. And that should be my size. So I got my scissors here. So again, we're gonna cut our, I am gonna cut for my size right at the 38 mark. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Perfect, there we go. Now we have it cut to the right length. All right, perfect. Let's go ahead and get our belt buckle on now. So to install the belt buckle, the first thing we wanna do is actually remove these two screws that come installed on it. With those out now, all we have to do is pop this lever open. You can see there's some teeth right here and that makes the hole open now. And then we can go ahead and insert the actual belt portion. Also, one thing to note, make sure the numbers are on the inside of this clasp here, so that way you don't put it on backwards. With that in place, we can go ahead and reinstall our screws here. And I like to reinstall them just loosely here, so it's like touching the belt here. But then now we're gonna go ahead and push this lever down to go ahead and have these teeth secure into the belt. Perfect, so now that's flush. So then now I'm gonna go ahead and tighten down the screws. There you go, and it's as simple as that. Now you can see our levers down and our screws are flush here as well. So now the belt buckle is firmly attached. With our belt buckle on, let's go ahead and test it and make sure it works now. So to use it then, all you have to do is bring the other end around here and you're gonna feed it through this top portion of the belt buckle, like so, like that. And then you should hear it start to ratchet once it connects. Man, that's a pretty satisfying sound. <laughs> and as you can see, that ratcheting, it's just going over these rivets here and locking into place. 
as you push it further along. To undo the belt, there is a little tab right here, as you can see, and all you have to do is push that forward. It'll release it off that track, and then you can loosen it. Pretty awesome system. Now that we know how to use it and we tested it and it does work properly, um, the only other thing that we have to add that came with it is this uh, belt loop here. If I have some extra, let's say I'm not carrying my holster, so I'll have a little extra on here, I can go ahead and tuck this underneath this band here so that way it's not flopping out in between a belt loop. So this is called the belt protector sleeve for the 1.5 inch belt, which is the belt that I have here. And what this is used for, it's used to help protect your belt from any wear and tear from your holsters that you have, um, such as this one here, where these clips are going on and off all the time, it might wear your belt out. So this is basically a sleeve to help protect it from that uh, additional wear and tear. You can see that when you have a in the waistband holster, such as my tier one here that I was talking about, typically speaking, you can't feed this in between the belt buckle to have this centered on your torso. So instead you have to take this belt buckle and stagger it to one side. So once you have your sleeve in the right spot here, again, this is uh, meant to protect your belt. So now at this point, um, it's kind of nice because it gives you a spot to where your holster should be every time as well. I know this will slide back and forth a little bit, but it'll give you a general idea. And once you do have it in place, you can go ahead and put your holster on and it won't tear up your belt as bad. All right, so the only other thing to point out here uh, that I got in addition, and again, this was like three bucks, but this is pretty cool for three bucks. It's definitely worth it. Um, this is the Core Essentials hanger. So if you get multiple belts, like the leather one, this EDC one that I have, um, this is basically a hanger to put them on and hang them in your closet. And it's pretty cool because it uses the uh, contraption they have here. All you have to do is push this on. It'll click into place and it's on the hanger. You can go hang it up. And then similar to taking the belt off, you just use this latch here and it'll go off the hanger. So pretty cool, pretty nifty, easy to hang up and you can get three belts on this. So again, for a couple bucks, definitely worth picking up too. So as you can see, I got the belt here. I do have the protective sleeve and the uh, loop to put the extra belt loop through. Feed it through my pants. And if you were gonna wear this just as a normal belt and not carry anything on it, you could just feed it through on the front side here. Man, I love that ratcheting sound there. And then from here, I have the little bit of extra. I can bring the loop that I have over here and that can go ahead and capture that. So now I'm good to go and I got my belt on. However, if you are gonna carry, I recommend putting the belt buckle to the side over here. So I'm gonna undo this and just feed it through this loop and move it to the side. And now you can see I have it on this next section on my jeans here ratchet it through, feed it through the little loop here. And I'm gonna leave this loose now because now I'm ready to grab my holster and put it in the front. And as you notice here, I do have that protective sleeve pad right here on the belt to protect it. So this is a good indicator of where my holster needs to go. So from here, I have my tier one concealed MSP holster. So this is for like a full size handgun, just to show you that any holster will work. Go ahead, line it up, put it down onto the belt cover sleeve like so. And once you have it in a good spot, you can go ahead Give it a couple more clicks and you should be all set then. And as you can see, this is not going anywhere. My whole pants are moving before the belt or these come off. So obviously with this shirt, I wouldn't wear it tucked in like this or you know have my gun exposed like this. But I wanna show you what it looks like once you do have it all set up here. So I'm gonna do a quick uh, spin for you here. So you can see here's the belt buckle, there's the um, extra little sling or uh, sleeve part to capture your extra belt buckle part. And then coming back around to this side, you can see here on the front, this is actually that protective sleeve. You can see the difference right here. This is where that sleeve part for like three bucks you can pick up goes. And again, our holster goes right over that then. Awesome setup and so far, this is the sturdiest EDC belt I have tried, used or seen on the market. So. Absolutely love it. And this quick adjust tab here, if you need to loosen it, sit down, quickly tighten it back up. It makes it just too easy, honestly. It's pretty awesome. All right, so that does it for this video here today. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, again, going over the core essentials, uh, EDC belt. This has to be, like I said, the best EDC belt on the market due to its sturdiness, its quick adjust, its durability. Um, and then if you have a tier one concealed holster, as I demonstrated through this, it's the perfect pair for your everyday carry. If this was helpful, like and subscribe to the channel. Got a bunch of other videos up now and a bunch more on the way. And if you have any questions, please let me know down in the comments. I'm always happy to help. Until next time, have fun shooting and we'll see you soon. Thanks everybody.